Yeah, you know that feeling. Well, recently I went out and spent ten whole pounds on this lens, and it's a, a vintage film camera lens, Carl Zeiss Jenner, seventy to two ten, f four point five to five point six, multi coated macro lens. Uh, I'll, I'll show you some photographs I took with it later on in the video. I haven't taken any macro shots yet. I'll probably do that in another video. So this lens, it's very nicely put together. Now, some of you guys will know more than me. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, apparently these were made under licence by Sigma, but on the... Um, you can't quite see it, but at the bottom here in blue right now I can see lens made in Japan under licence from VEB Carl Zeiss Jenner. So, let me know if, if these were actually made by Sigma. And so... As with a lot of these vintage camera lens, it feels very nicely put together. Uh, the uh, F ratio, the little click stops here, they're in full increments rather than half stop. So I'll just quite see that. In typical vintage camera lens uh, fashion, nice and noisy there. Uh, as you can see, the focuser and zoom very easy to use. And as you'll have also seen at the start of the video, if you're shooting at something high up in the sky, you let go. It's not going to hold into place. But hey, it, it cost me ten pounds with a. I've not got it on at the moment. Uh, a Sun skylight filter, but I've, I've taken it off because. I thought it had a bit of a haze on it, but it was actually uh, hadn't been very well looked after, and it had a lot of scratches on it, and there was a lot of scratches also, uh, well, grubby marks on the rear element, which I have cleaned off. It also came back. It also came with a a variable polarizing filter, which is in excellent condition. So, con considering everything I got in the package, ten whole pounds. Yeah, you're not going to grumble, and in particular when you see the images that I've taken at the end of this video, I think you'll agree, it's quite a bargain. Now, I use it on my Canon EOS, and uh, this is an Olympus OM mount, but fortunately I have an OM to EOS adapter, which are very, very easy to fit. And, uh, well, simply, just as you would put it on a, a DSLR or mirrorless camera, uh, red dot to red dot, click that into place and then put it onto your camera. Uh, you can use with with the Canon EOS uh, range uh, aperture priority and so it, other, other than manual focus and setting the aperture uh, y y yourself that the camera will set uh, the shutter speed and uh, ISO setting. So 70 to 210 uh, ideal for walks uh, around in, in the nature reserve, around the nature reserve. Again, as you'll see, uh, the results uh, coming up at the end of the video. And looking at the results, one thing you will notice, and, and I didn't go crazy with editing because I wanted it to be, uh, you know, as near true to life as possible without going mad with overdoing saturation and that. But the uh, colours... Uh, uh, not as saturated as you would do with with modern day lenses uh, so maybe you know the the coatings very good for years gone by but maybe not up to modern standards but you can soon uh, uh, adjust that in in editing and one thing i was very impressed with was the edge of field sharpness even at, at f4.5 5.6 considering this is a 40 or maybe 40 plus year old lens very good edge of field quality. Overall, I'm very impressed with these, and I've seen these on um, on uh, eBay for considerably more than ten pound, and and more than that on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I'm I'm very pleased with my ten pound uh, well spent. In fact, when I went into the uh, the second hand shop, she, the lady said, uh, "Is that is that all you want for now?" Because uh, she saw me eyeing up the rest of the lenses, so who knows? There may be some uh, additional film camera lenses coming up, uh, reviews coming up very shortly. So that, that's a quick look at the the vintage uh, Carl's Ice Jenner 70 to 210 f 4.5 to 5.6. 
uh, sit back now and have a look at the, resu uh, the results, the photographs that I took uh, on a recent uh, walk around the park. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps and I shall see you next time.